Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Rohan Khandelwal, your Marrow SS General Surgery faculty, and it gives me immense pleasure to introduce Dr. Sandra to all of you. She secured rank five in the recently conducted INISS exam in the breast and endocrine MCH section. Heartiest congratulations, Dr. Sandra, from the entire Thank team you. of Marrow SS. Thank you, sir. So uh, before we start discussing about your preparation, I think so uh, uh, there's one thing which I want to highlight to all those who are listening to this, that Dr. Sandra is a DNB surgery resident and she's cracked her INI exam and got admission into MCH. So I get a query from a lot of DNB residents who say that, you know, MS is preferred over DNB, especially when they appear for INI. So I think so this is a great example for all of you where, uh, you know, DNB resident has cracked it in the first attempt. So great, uh, Dr. Sandra, why don't you tell us about your journey with Maro SS uh, and about where you did your post-graduation from? Uh, uh, good afternoon, sir. I actually yes. did my undergraduation from Maglo Medical College. My post-graduation, I did from, I did DNB general surgery. Uh, I did in Kim's Trivandrum, sir. Uh, and uh, my, uh, I, I was a Maro Pro user. Uh, I started uh, watching the Maro videos during prepare, preparing for my final exam, sir. And then uh, I continued uh, during the, I was more interested in endocrine and breast surgery uh, during my uh, 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 PG days only. So even when I was studying for that, I, I, I not knowingly only, I focused more on those topics. Uh, so it was easier for me while preparing for my INI. Even for INI, I uh, watched the breast and endocrine videos, everything from, I use Maro resources only, sir. Okay. So, um, first of all, what was your inspiration to take up breast and endocrine surgery? And uh, was there anything different or any books which you would recommend to those who are preparing for uh, this particular branch? Uh, uh, my inspiration, sir, uh, in my PG days only, I was uh, posted more in a unit which was more concerned with the, uh, the endocrine specialty, sir. So, that itself inspired me a lot to take up the branch. Also, being a female surgeon, I felt the need for a female surgeon, a more focused uh, approach to breast disorders among females, sir, because they felt, uh, I feel they feel more comfortable coming up to female surgeons. So I felt being a female surgeon, I needed to concentrate more on that. And the uh, preparation, sir, I think the basic books are more than enough, sir. Bailey, Sebastian, and uh, Schwartz are more than enough for uh, preparing for the entrance exam, sir, along with uh, Maro's uh, videos. But uh, not just reading those books, but I think you need to uh, have a uh, good concise knowledge of everything and i feel you need to concentrate on guidelines also sir the nccn guidelines and ata guidelines and also your work experience everything together a concise knowledge uh, comes in handy for these exams sir. perfect so you mentioned ncc and ata guidelines as well are important if somebody is preparing especially for inss breast and endocrine because yes, yes. at aims they're doing a lot of work on thyroid and parathyroid as well Perfect. So, um, along with the marrow videos, uh, were you regularly solving the Q bank as well? Yes, sir. Whenever I got time, I used to solve the question banks also. Uh, question banks, I think they help us to uh, not just seeing the videos. You actually are able uh, to get a few more points when you do the question banks. And also you get to uh, understand the topic a bit more when we practice the question banks, sir. So, the question banks are also very helpful, sir. And you said that before your final exams, you watched all the general surgery videos. A common question which I get is how long does it take for a postgraduate to watch these videos? Because undergraduates have been watching my videos and they take some time. But you people with uh, already some knowledge of surgery, how much time did it require for you to watch all the general surgery videos? Uh, sir, uh, it does not take, I, uh, I am not sure how much total time because like in between the uh, working also I was watching. But uh, mm -hmm. as a postgraduate, I feel it's very easy for us to complete the videos, especially with the new feature. We can watch it at a very high speed. We can watch the videos, I think, at 2.53x speed, and it's very helpful, sir. So we are able to come because we are already accustomed to seeing all these cases and dealing with it on a regular basis. So I feel it's very easy for us to grasp it in the first go only. I think we can very comfortably see in a 3x speed and uh, get all the relevant points, sir. And also right. the notes are given along with it. So whatever is needed, we can just refer to those, sir. So in addition to the general surgery and the breast specific videos, which I had recorded, uh, did you watch videos of other faculty members in the SS section as well? 
Uh, yes, sir. Uh, the surgical oncology, few videos pertaining to this specialty and few videos from urology also, sir, pertaining to the adrenals, uh, some MCQ discussions pertaining to all these topics I watched, sir. Yeah, so I think so. somebody who's preparing for INISS needs to mix and match because, uh, you know, that particular thing might be covered at various different places. So like you said that you watched, uh, in addition to the general surgery videos, you watched the breast part from surgical oncology, which I've covered more in detail, along yes. with thyroid from those portions and yes. uh, adrenal from urology. Yes. Perfect. Right. Um, so what would be your uh, tips? I mean, somebody who's deciding that they want to do their MCH uh, and they're doing BNB specifically, um, when would you recommend that they should start preparation? Because one thing which DNB aspirants say that for them, the theory exam is very difficult. I personally take it in the other manner because I think that because DNB aspirants study thoroughly for theory, their theory is stronger than MS aspirants, uh, MS uh, candidates when they pass out. So what is your take on that? Uh, sir, uh, I feel uh, in DNB, we, we have to be quite uh, uh, thorough with the theory and practical also, sir. Even our practical exams are really difficult. So actually, I uh, my preparation was mainly during my uh, final exam preparation, sir. I prepared in very much in detail for those exams. And uh, I just had to revise whatever I prepared then for these entrance exams. And I think that is more than enough. Whatever we prepare for our final examinations, because we uh, tend to read all these topics in details. All these are very important topics for our final exam. And all these are also cases which are kept for uh, practical exams also. So. Whatever we prepare for that uh, is uh, very much good enough, sir. We just have to keep revising on it and have a concise knowledge and uh, also add our theory, uh, practical knowledge, which we uh, have uh, in dealing with patients. And I think that is very much good enough for all these entrance examinations. So uh, one more thing which I want to know, uh, Dr. Sandra, is how many questions did you attempt in the INI exam in the general surgery part and in the specialty part? Uh, that's also something which uh, students are very keen on knowing about. Uh, sir, I attempted, uh, except one question, I attempted all the questions. One question, I was sure I didn't know. The rest, all questions I had attempted, sir. In the specialty section or overall? It was a, uh, overall, sir. All questions except one. All questions except one. All questions, Perfect. yes. All right. Great. And uh, what about the mock test? Were you taking mock tests in the Marrow app as well? Uh, sir, actually, Marrow... and mock tests. Uh, we didn't have anything based on the specialty, so I was not taking any mock tests in matters. But did you appear for the grand test for the mini tests which were held in general when you were preparing for knee tests? No, sir. Actually, I uh, we, our exams were delayed, so everything was at the same time, so I didn't get time to go through the exams part, sir. I just referred to the videos and I revised my topic, sir. And the Perfect. question banks, so I kept solving. And few of the uh, exams I uh, did uh, refer the answers, but I hadn't taken any exam at the time, sir. Great. So uh, you would say that uh, around six months are sufficient if somebody wants to prepare for breast and endocrine MCH. You would think yes. in addition to general surgery, four to six months preparation would be enough. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Six months preparation will be more than enough, sir. And what about the interview part or the OSCE part when you went for that uh, after qualifying uh, in the MCQ portion? What was asked in that section? Uh, sir, in the interview section, uh, we didn't have any OSCE session. Uh, we, uh, it was a comprehensive interview, sir. All topics were covered. Uh, there was one question on breast, one question on parathyroid, one question on thyroid, a few questions on research-based questions. It was all basic questions, sir. Uh, everything which we deal on day-to-day -day basis uh, and uh, more practical oriented, not uh, theory based, more practical oriented, more uh, oriented to when we do surgery, the findings which we see, the relationship of structures and the management of uh, and all guidelines based, uh, management of certain lesions. Uh, all topics are covered and there were few questions on all topics. Sir. So were there any uh, mammograms or uh, CT scans asked as well? No, sir. Uh, no image based questions are there. Only. Uh, practical based questions sir clinical asked, scenarios uh, yes perfect, perfect right thank you very much dr sandra thank you for taking out time and talking to us uh, before we end the interview any final words uh, for future aspirants uh, i think it is a very do doable exam sir we just have to uh, be focused on what we want and keep revising our notes whatever we know is good enough i feel we just have to know what we know uh, uh, reading a lot 
uh, we have to read what is needed and then keep revising it so that we are able to present it at, at that short time during the exam sir i believe and uh, all the practical knowledge which comes with our uh, dnb and ms what uh, when we do I, all of it will help during the exam at that time sir perfect i think so that's very reasonable advice thank you very much for talking to all of us and uh, heartiest congratulations from the entire maro team thank you sir thank you